In this lesson, we are going to understand the basic concepts of Git merge and there are different types of Git merge. We will understand what are those and then using Eclipse, we will perform those steps practically. To start with, what is Git merge? It is a way to integrate changes from one branch to other. Merging takes the contents of a source branch and integrates them with a the target branch. So simple. Suppose we have two branches. In one branch, I have made some changes. I want to integrate or incorporate those changes from where I have made the changes to the other branch. So for that, we are going to use merge. Only the target branch is changed. The source branch history remains the same. This is also very clear. Say I have two branches. In a branch, I have made some changes and from that I am going to merge into a particular branch. So where I am going to merge, there should be a change. But the branch where initially the change was done, there should not be a change in history. There are two main ways Git will merge, fast forward and three way. This we will understand gradually and we will do practically these two types of merge using Eclipse as well. Now this is a sample picture of a particular merge. Suppose the blue circles on the left hand side, this is, these are the commits of a particular branch called master. And after that, a branch emerged from the master branch, which is with green circles. This is a feature branch. So from circle two onwards, so from commit two onwards, we made changes in the master branch as well as the feature branch. And later on what we did, we merge this feature branch into master with this red circle. Let's understand what is fast forward merge. A fast forward merge can occur when there is a linear path between branches that are being merged. If a master has not diverged, instead of creating a new commit, it will just point master to latest commit of the feature branch. All commits from feature branch would become available in master after merge. So here in this picture, we have the master branch. The master branch is pointing to this blue circle and we have some features being developed in another branch, which is feature branch. Now here, we don't have any divergence from master to feature, meaning in the master branch itself, after the feature branch is created, there is no such development within the master branch. So there is no diversion. It's linear. Then what we can do, we can just point the master to the latest commit in the feature branch. In that way, the merge could be done. But if there is any divergence, then fast forward won't occur. We have to choose another type of merge, which is a three-way merge. When there is no linear path to the target branch, Git has no choice but to combine them via a three-way merge. This merge uses an extra commit to tie together the two branches. So here you can see we have the master branch from that the featured branch got created. But in the meantime, the master also had some developments. So the path is no longer linear. We have a divergence here. So fast forward won't work. If we have to merge, there would be an additional commit on the right hand side to which the master would be pointing. So this is a three way merge. Now we know the concepts, what is merge, two types of merge are there, fast forward and three way. Now let's understand by doing them hands on using Eclipse. I'm in my Eclipse workspace now, it's blank. We need to import a GitHub project. Let's do that. So this is my GitHub project. Currently I have only one branch. Let me create another branch. Let's go to the branch, click this particular link. So this is the single branch that we have. But to merge, we need to have two branches at least. We need to create another branch. For that, let's go back to the main page. Click here and select this particular drop down. Let me type a branch name to create. Let me name it as feature. It could be anything. It could be development, some task number, whatever. And press enter. Now you can see two branches are created. Let me click over here. So this is my master branch. This is my feature branch. Now go back to the main page again, just to get the URL, git URL. So here, just click this drop down and click this copy button. Now we have the URL. I'm going back to my Eclipse workspace. I'm in my Eclipse workspace now. Click file, import, type git, next. Select clone URI, next. 
I have this location information already populated as the git URL is copied in the clipboard. The authentication information I have saved earlier that's why it is pre-populated. You can provide that in your case it may not be required just for pull it's not required. Click next. It shows both the branches. Click next again. Press next. Import as general project. Next. Click finish. Okay. So I have cloned that into my particular workspace. Now I just need to convert it into a Maven project. So right click. Configure. Select convert to Maven project. I have this navigator view opened. You can use Project Explorer, but I prefer this Navigator view. For opening this view, what we can do, you can go to Window, you can select Show View, and you can select Navigator. That's it. So let me expand the view. The ones which have question marks like Settings, Class Path, Git Ignore, Project, I can ignore them by just adding to the Git Ignore. So what I can do, I can select these files, click on, right click on the project go to team and press this ignore now now onwards git will ignore them so let me open the git repositories view right click team show in repositories view i have the git repositories view opened here expand the branches under local we have only the master under remote tracking we have the origin feature origin master so these are the remote tracking branches now what i want to do i want to make some changes in the feature branch and merge them to master for that i need to check out this particular feature branch so right click on this particular feature branch right click check out now read the message carefully if you want to work on the branch a new local branch has to be created and checked out if you just want to have a look at the state of your branch, the commit of the remote tracking branch can be checked out. So I need to work on this. I have to check out as a new local branch. The check out commit won't work here. So check out as new local branch. Click here. Keep the name as it is feature and click on finish. Now here under local we have the feature already created and it's checked out. There is a tick icon over here. Now both are pointing to the same comment. Let me open the history view by right clicking the project, team, show in history. So here I have my history view. Right now under git repositories, we can see which branch is selected feature. So it's showing all the comments for feature branch. We can similarly choose the master branch and view its comments as well. So let me do one thing. Let me do some changes in the feature branch and try to commit them. I have the feature branch already opened. So let me open a file. Let me open calculator.java. I'm making some changes. Say for example, just a dummy change. Say change one. Control S. Let me add this change to index. Click on this plus icon, add to index. And then commit it. Click commit change. I'm entering the commit message. I am intentionally including the branch name in the commit so that we can track the commit history later on. It's more readable for us. Let's click commit. The scenario right now is that we have two branches master and feature. In feature we have made one change and let's merge this feature branch into master. To merge first we need to check out the master branch. Select checkout. Now what we can do we can select this particular master branch and click on commit another way would be to right click on the project select team and select merge both are similar the first one i think is a shorter one so here it says select a branch or tag to merge into the master branch so let me select this feature and important thing here is merge options and fast forward options. Merge options, it will be always commit, so ignore the rest too. Fast forward options, here it is important. So if a fast forward, only update the branch pointer. We know that there is no change in the master. We have only made change in the feature branch. 
so in this case it should be a fast forward only and the option is only update the branch pointer so there would be no additional commit for this merge another thing we can do if a fast forward creates a merge commit so it would update the branch pointer as well as create a merge commit so we will stick with the first option but before you do this merge always you update the branch to which you are going to do the merge meaning here say I want to merge the master but in the meantime remotely somebody can make some change so just before doing merge ideally what we should be doing you should be synchronizing this with the repository and see whether if there is any change in the repository or not if that we should pull those changes right now I know I am the single person who is working in the repository so I am not going to do that but ideally we should do that before merging that's a good practice so coming back let's just do the merge right click merge select feature keep the options as it is click on merge so the merge result says the result is fast forward as expected the new head is pointing to the change one and these were the merge inputs so click on ok now what I am going to do we have seen how to merge we have seen the fast forward type and where we are not adding any additional commit additional merge commit let's have a look into the three-way merge as well so we are going to make some changes in the feature branch as well as the master branch let's select the master branch do a checkout I'm going to make some changes in some file in the master branch so control shift R let me select a file make some change over here save the change act to index commit change I have added the commit message change from master one it could be a three-way merge click on commit go to git repositories go to feature branch right click check out now here in some other file let me make some changes say change one control s add to index commit change add some message click commit so we have one commit from feature one commit from master let's go to git repositories check out master right click check out now right click merge select feature click on merge merge so the merge result says the result is merged new head is merge branch feature so what has happened it has taken the change from master and it has taken the change from feature and it has created another comment for the merge click ok go to history here it is clear like what we had we had this change in master this change in feature and as it is a non fast forward there is an additional commit which is merge branch feature this commit is created by git itself so whenever we do merge we don't have to bother about this fast forward or three way eclipse or git internally does this for us but conceptually it is important to understand so what we have done in this lesson we have understood the concept of merge there are two types of merge first forward and three way using eclipse we have done all of them practically